Today we honor and celebrate the godfather of Sudoku, Maki Kaji, who passed away August 10th, 2021, just about a month ago. He was president of Nikolai Publishing. To honor him, I, I have one of Nikolai's puzzles to solve today. I've used puzzles from this book in several other videos, but this one is special because I wanted to celebrate Maki's life and what he has accomplished. See the news articles about Maki in the link below the video. There's something unique about Nikolai, and that is all of their puzzles are handmade. Most publishers, including Wayne Gould, generate puzzles using computer software or other automated means. But Nikolai always creates them without the use of any automation. So here's one of his puzzles. This one, um, right at the beginning, we find a, a hidden corner pattern, which really helps us... Uh, um, find a lot of numbers right at first and I'll show you I'll show you that in just a minute first of all we've got a one right there all right and now we've got a two and a four here and a two and a four here that makes these two four twins and since and we can't solve these but since we know what these two numbers are this box two is a hidden corner pattern with these four cells. So we know these four numbers because of this hidden corner pattern. We've got a one, two, one, two three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Five, six, eight, nine. We've got a five here, so one of these is a five. Got an eight here, so one of these is an eight. But now because of this hidden corner pattern, we'll be able to find this 8 right here. I'll fill that in and then I'll show you how I got it. Well, with this 8 here in this hidden corner pattern, we know we have ghost 8s here. We've got an 8 here and ghost 8s here. So we have ghost 8s here. And with that 8 and ghost 8s here, we can find that 8 right there. And of course with that 8 too. Alright, and then with that 8 here, 8, 8, 8, so we know that's an 8 right there. And now that we filled in that 8, we know that that's an 8 right there. And we've got a 9 here ghost nines here and so that's a nine right there okay so so far we've found four numbers because of this hidden corner pattern we'll find some more here in a minute now we have five and six here okay so we have five six twins here so we've got uh, what's left on this column here one two three four five six seven and nine that's one nine one seven one seven nine so we can't solve anything else in this column but remember this five six we'll use that in just a minute here all right um we've got a six here we know that can't be a six because of the five six twins right there so we have ghost sixes here six ghost sixes so that's a six right there okay now with that six we can put a six here here uh, we got ghost sixes here six and six there so that's a six right there and uh, we've got a six here, six here, so one of these has to be a six. But this can't be a six because we have that five, six twins again, so the six goes there. All right, so, so far, every number but this one right here, we found because of this hidden corner pattern right there. 
All right, now we fin finish this row here with a seven. It's the only number left there. All right, and then with that seven, that seven, we can put in a seven there and a seven there. All right, now let's look at row nine here and let's see what we're missing here. One, four, nine. One, four, nine. There's a four there. So that's a one or a nine. Four or nine, four or nine. So there's four nine twins right there, so we know that's a one. Or another way to look at that is we can't put a one here or here because of the ones there, so the one has to go there. All right, now we can put a one in box five because of this one and a one here. All right, now we only have two numbers left here, five and nine. With that nine, we can finish those. All right, with the five, six that we know about here, these have to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven and nine. With that nine, we can finish those. All right, now we've got a loner cell right here. Um, it's the only cell in this box that's outside this row, and every number outside of this box in this row is completed. So we have a 178, 178. We've got a 369 three, here. There's a 6 and a 9 there, so we know that's a 3. And now, let's look and see what we're missing here. We've got, um, what are we missing in this box right here? One, three, four, nine. One, three, four, nine. All right. So uh, we've got a four and a nine here. So we know these are four and nine. So these are one and three. There's a one there, so we can solve them. All right, and we've also got a one and a three here. One, three, one, three, so these are one and three also. With that one, we can solve those. All right, now let's look at column two. We're only missing two numbers, three, four, three and four, and we can solve those. Column one, we're missing a uh, two and a nine here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, two and nine. With that nine, we can solve them. All right, now row four, we're only missing two and five, so we can put those in. All right, we can finish box five here. Now we've got a, uh, let's see, we know every, well, we know all the numbers here except for these two, two, five, two and five, so we can solve those. We still have a four and a nine here we can't solve. All right, and then in box, let's see. Here we're missing three, four. Yeah, three and four, so we can solve those. And now that we have a four here, we can solve the four and the nine. All right, and now we've got a nine here, nine here, nine there. And 
and that's a 2 right there. Alright, now we're missing 5, 7, and 8 here. 7, 5, 8. So we got that box completed. Missing 6 and 7 here. Uh, remember our 5 and 6. With that 6 now we can fill in the 5 and the 6. Right. And with this 2, we can fill in the two and the two four twins that we found right at the very beginning. Now we're only missing 4 and 9 there. Let's see, 4 and 3 are missing here, we can solve. Almost put the three there accidentally. There's a four here, so that has to be a four. All right now, we're missing three and eight. With that three, we can solve those. And we've got a five and an eight here. And we're done. So, um, this hidden corner pattern really helped us get going on this. These puzzles are fairly tricky, but once we found that corner pattern and we put a bunch of numbers in because of that, it made the rest of the puzzle pretty easy. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and I uh, just wanted to let you know about uh, uh, Maki Kaji's life and uh, that he had passed away and kind of honor him by doing one of his puzzles today. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.